Hello, good morning everyone. Thank you for coming to join me today. Um, in the last video that I did, um, I made some of the, uh, I don't know what you call them really, the no sew booklets um, that Rachel from Roxy Creations had done. And I've, I've finished them all off. Um, I've put some tags in them and they've all got pages in them. And I've put tabs on the front of each of them. So they're all very similar. And what I plan to do with these is when I make um, journals, but mainly I think the botanical journals that I do then I'll include one of these with them so I've got four so I was pleased at how those had turned out um, and that's given me something I, I like to try and include something a bit different when I make a journal um, so this week it's been a bit of an odd week for me I haven't had chance to do much crafting um, quite a few appointments that I've needed to take my mum to and sort my mum out um, and I kind of hit a bit of a block, I think, not sure what to do. Um, I'm planning on doing some more tag books as kind of in between projects. And I want to be using Andrea's, that's Artie May's um, kits that she's been bringing out in the different colours. So I wanted to do a yellow one. I think she's got yellow, purple, green and blue at the minute. So I wanted to try and do a colour theme tag kit. Um, so I've got a bit of a rainbow theme going on. So I want to have a go at those, but I've also been wanting to do one of the, um, I don't know if you call them tag books, they're not really tag books. One of the um, hinged books that um, Shabby Soul has made, um, and I saw Wendy from Wendy's Journal Adventures do it as well. Um, and so I've just been playing about really with bits and pieces that I've got. And I've got to a point where I thought you might, you might like to see what I'm doing. So the idea is that you have different things in a book um i think um susie from shabby soul i think she did make hers with tags and then you hinge them with fabric fabric hinges so i'm going to have a go so i'll show you where i've got to um i think i haven't re-looked really at the videos which is a bit silly of me because i might come unstuck but i think that you need an even number of um pages i'm going to call them pages to go in for it to work properly and I'm going to use an alt alternate between three and two hinges so the first thing I've got is an envelope I haven't covered the inside of that but I think I might so I'm kind of thinking on my feet here folks so I've decorated that um, these are all Artie Mazer's papers that I've got out here. I don't know if you can see them. I've got a good range of Andrea's papers. Some of them are freebies that she's had and some of them are from her different kits. Um, so I've just got a range of things that I've got printed out because, I, as I say, I just I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So I'm going to use Andrea's papers. So these are Andrea's papers. Um, so that's an envelope and I've folded it up at the back to make a pocket so I love that paper. This is a little booklet and I don't know if it'll work using a booklet or not. Um, these bits are from Andrea's um, tag fabrication kit and these tags are as well. And then I've made a little booklet and I've put some journaling, just some odd little pages in there so that there's room to journal. And I might show you how I made those. Um, they're inspired by Wendy from Wendy's Journal Adventures as well. So that I'm hoping will go in there. And then on the back, there's another one of Andrea's cards um, in there. Then I've got a piece of card that I want to hinge. And I've kind of been thinking what I want to put on them, which is why I've got things paper clipped. Um, so that's going to go on there. I've then got a book page that I'm using as a top loading pocket and I've put a glassine bag on the back of it. That will go that way. Um, these are from Andrea's Tag Fabrication and I've made it a side loading pocket there. And then there's a pocket just there and then there's a pocket on that side as well. So you can see I'm kind of thinking what I want to do and I've put little bits and pieces in. That goes that way. And then the back page, I've used a piece of wallpaper that my friend um, Britta Marta, um, thank you Britta, sent me. She sent me a couple of pieces of uh, vintage wallpaper and I have been hoarding them. But I thought that might make a nice envelope. So I've put a little tuck spot there. It's going to be an envelope there. Decorated it on the back. 
and there's going to be a little journaling card in there with one of the Tim Holtz men on. So that's kind of what I'm thinking I'm doing. And I just thought I'd bring you along and let's have a look at <laughs> let's have a look at how unstuck Carol gets making this, shall we? So do I want to put something in there? I think I probably do. Um, the trouble is, the difficulty with it is always getting something in inside an envelope and not sealing your envelope up, isn't it? I think I might like a piece of that green. So I'm going to I'm going to give it a try, folks. Um, you can watch my frustration as I don't manage to get to get it in. So I don't need that much, do I? Because I only want it to cover that window. Straight into this without asking you all how you are. So I hope you're doing OK. Um, we're coming up to the time of year that we tend to go away quite a bit. So um, I'll do videos, obviously, when I can. Um, and my youngest son and his partner are getting married in June. And that's been, if I say it's been a long time coming, they had it planned before lockdown. Um, and of course, it got cancelled because of lockdown. And then they had it planned a couple of other times and they had to postpone it because the um, you could only have so many people at the wedding. And so it's been a bit of a nightmare. I think this is the fourth, the fourth time that they've arranged it. So hopefully that, well, hopefully it will, that will be going ahead on the 2nd of June. Um, so, yeah, that's exciting for them. I've got my little outfit and no, I'm not wearing a hat. <laughs> In any way shape or form if I put this in here and try and slide it down that went in easier than I thought something must be wrong there because usually I don't know if you can see what I'm doing I've just tried to slide um, a piece of paper in there and then I will cut that off you know, I've put the video on to video and I've got nothing around me that I need. Not planning ahead at all, Carol. Put that in there, move that over there. OK, so that hopefully is sticked down nicely. And isn't going to stick the pocket. Ah, there's a little bit not stuck there. I did wonder whether to um, stitch round this, but then I put this on with the brads, so you, I can't. And I thought I just saw where that wasn't stuck. Yeah, just there, look. So I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of ink, ink, a little bit of glue in there. Sometimes when you coffee dye envelopes and things and then stick something to it, the, the envelopes do get very wrinkly, a bit like me. So hopefully that isn't stuck. So this paper that I've used, I think, is one of Andrea's William Morris papers. I think it was in my Andrea packet, so I'm I'm hoping it was Andrea's paper. Um, I've got a journaling card that I want to go in there, so I'm going to decorate that. It isn't backed at the minute, but it will be. It will be. And now I need to plan where... I've got a lady that I want to be peeking out of the window. Um, and this is from Andrea's Vintage Days set. So I want that to kind of go there so that she's looking out of that window. So I think what I'm going to do is just put a tiny dab of glue stick on there. Just so that I can kind of position her where I would like her to be. There will do. Take it out carefully. Because I wanted to put that underneath. I'm going to glue that one down. I kind of tried to think ahead of what I might decorate some of these pages with before I um, switch the camera on. Because I know I can be a little bit slow um, making decisions on things. I'm just going to put a little tiny mark there and a little tiny mark there. And you're not going to see them because they're right underneath. Right underneath. 
where I'm going to stick this lady. And then hopefully she will be peeking out of the window. So I know I want it to go about there and about there. And I would like her to be straight. Would she like to be straight? And if she doesn't look out the window now, it's too late because that is well and truly stuck. And then I thought I'd like to put flower on there. What do you think? I think I like it. I do think I like it. Yeah, I'm going to put it on. It's one of my favourites. I think this flower might might be from Rachel um, Roxy Creations. Um, fussy cut flowers my my fussy cuts I shove them all in one box when I've cut them out I, to try and minimize on minimize on boxes and things oh dear and I've got glue all over that but that's okay wipe it off I've noticed just lately the glues are really squidgy and I can't say it's because of the hot weather because it's not hot I'm just reaching for my um, glue, my gluey scissors. I'm just going to see if she will f still fit in there and if she will peek out of the window. Oh, that's pretty. And you get to see a little bit of the flowers as well. So, yeah, I hope you can see that. And I hope the lighting's OK. Um, I'm having real problems with my uh, ring light. It doesn't want to work. Um, I'm not, I'm not in a position at the minute to get a new one, so I'm just going with what I have. I'm just looking to see if I've got something I could back that with. I think if I back it on that, I'm just going to glue it onto there. I'm not going to cut it out and stitch it. Um, I'm just going to glue it on so that I know I've got the um, tag done for that one. And this is one of... Um, um, Andrea's ephemera kits and it comes in different different slightly different shades from light through to dark let's just roughly cut that off just so that we can see where we are eh? Put that off there. I'm already getting myself cluttered in aren't I what I really want to get round to is um, <laughs> joining the tags up. So I think that's what we'll do. And then if we've got time left at the end, we can. Um, we can have a look at decorating it a bit more, can't we? I think I need a new blade on my, my little knife. They get blunt quite quickly, I find. Oh, shove those on the floor. Out the way. So when I've finished, obviously, I will um, stitch around these tags that I'm putting in. But that's nice on the back look. I just wanted to use as much of Andrea's papers as I could with this. So as I say, a mix of some freebies. Well, I like that. What do you think? And then in the pocket on the back. That's going to go in that pocket. I think I regret putting that lace on there because it kicks it up, but never mind. And then I want, I wanted that to be a little pocket on there. So I'm going to glue that on. I think what I'm trying to be mindful of as I'm making these and decorating each individual, I'm going to call them pages, but I know they're not pages as such, each of the tags or um, pages, is trying to be um, mindful of that it's going to have hinges on. And I don't want to cover some things up um, with the hinges. So, for example, I want to put this on here. 
but I'm conscious that there's going to be a tag. So I'm going to put it more to the top and hope that it doesn't get covered by a tag. And then I've just got a couple of, um, these are from the tag fabrication as well. So they would just go in there like that. I'm wondering if I can just move that up a bit. No, no, it's down. This glue, once, once it's down, it's down. Okay, so I think that is done. I'm going to... Where did I, oh, it's there. I'm going to clip those together so I remember that they go together because I've got a brain like a sieve at times, honestly. They go in there, so I'm going to take those out because I can't have those on when we hinge them together. Um, this is the one that will go next. Look, I've left myself a note. So pockets on. <laughs> Does anybody else do that when you're making something? I am so forgetful at times, honestly, really. Um, so this is going to hinge. That's the back side. The hinges are going to be on this side. But I want that to go on there. And then I want this envelope to come over there. So I'm going to glue this glue this on. But as I said to myself, stitch pockets on. So I'm going to sew these on before we progress. And I didn't know whether to... Um, oh, yeah, that's on. I didn't know whether to cut the corners slightly on this and I think that I might um, just because I, it sticks up higher than the other. So I think I'm just going to make it a, just a, a very slight tag just so those points aren't going to get damaged. There we go. Cut those like that. Um, I want to put this envelope and I've made a second fold in that flap and just cut it down a bit because I want it to go on there at the bottom. Give it a good, a good crease. Gosh, we're at 17 minutes. I think you're going to be with me a while, folks, because um, I'm not going very fast, am I? And my glue doesn't want to play look. So I'm going to stick this on here. See, I thought I knew what I was doing with this, but um, I don't really think I do. All right, I'm going to stick that on there. And it still opens. glue on a minute. I don't want it to dry up. And there is, because I've made a second fold, that just down there is where the original fold was. And I've just given it a second fold because I wanted there to be enough room to put something in. What was I going to put in? Oh, I was going to put this girl in here and she's going to look out of that window. So she's going to be peekabooing out of there on this as a journal card. So that's going to go there. So put that like that. I'm happy with it. And the tabs are going to be on that side. And then on this side, I've got this pocket that I want to put on down there. I was going to put the both... Um, the pocket on the other side but then I thought well, you've got two pockets on the same side then you don't really want to do that so that's going to go on there like that okay now I'm just going to go and stitch around this making sure I have that open now before I do that I want to cover this bit up don't I so I think what I'm going to do this is a piece of um, antique French dictionary. And I think I'm going to put that on there. Yeah. I can't cut this 
oh that it glues empty throw it away i've tried cutting this um vintage paper this it's very very thin um book page and if i try and cut it with the blade oh no and it's stuck to this paper it is such delicate paper it really really is there we go now i want to get it up to that edge but i still want that to fold I can go a little bit closer without being creased there we go and just cut oops daisy just trim that off So I've not done one of these before, um, could be a complete fail, but it's all a learning curve, isn't it? Do we expect everything we make to be a success each time? I know I don't because I make lots of mistakes. Um, back to the drawing board, but I think that looks nice. Right, I'm going to go and stitch around it and I'll be with you in one moment. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I've stitched all the way around this and that's made sure that that envelope isn't going anywhere. Um, so that's that one. This little boy I want to put on the back and I thought I might leave him so that I've got something I can tuck under. So I'm thinking I want to glue to his shoulders and part way up his feet so that he's not glued down completely. I thought that might be nice so that it's a little... A little tuck spot. I said his shoulders, didn't I? Get him glued on. He's a very smart little boy, isn't he? So he should be well and truly glued on there. And then that, if it doesn't work as a tuck, it doesn't work as a tuck. But it should. I think might be a tight one, but I can always take a bit off. It's a bit energetic with me gluing. No, that's there. Look, it's plenty. Yeah, that'll be fine. So he's done there and I've got cards that I want to put in the back of that. So I'm going to clip those together and then... So they go with like that. That's the next one. That's just got a pocket there. Then I've got that one. That's got a pocket there. And then this one, I just need to glue the envelope closed. So I stuck that on there. I might actually just stitch around here so it doesn't come off. One moment. Okay, so I've just stitched that pocket on. I've left it as a little pocket there at the top. And I've put these hinges on this envelope so that I can close it up because we want it to be a little envelope and I don't know what's going in there yet I haven't thought about it not got that far I've been more worried about put, <laughs> putting the whole thing together okay let's just press that down I've not used wallpaper before um, but I did do a, a dummy run with this glue on a spare piece just to make sure that it does actually glue shut because I did think of stitching but if you stitch you don't have such a, a big pocket but I don't know if that's going to hold as a pocket or not the last thing I would want would be for the pocket to come unglued. I'm going to shove a bit of glue in there. But I don't want to run the risk of it gluing shut. That's the other thing. Okay. Give it a good squish in. I think that will. It's not going to be a big envelope anyway, is it? Hmm. Do I stitch it? I, 
think I am. I'm going to stitch it. One minute. Okay, folks, so I gave in to my fears and I've stitched it. I would much rather have it stitched and sewn than find that it comes undone. But I can still fit a journaling card in there, so I'm happy with that. And that goes with that one. Right, okay. This is it, folks. We are going to try and stick it all together. Right, okay, so bear with me because we've, I haven't done this before. So I'm going to take a deep breath and a leap of faith and I'm going to... I'm going to do it. I'm using um, a thin calico um, and I've cut them. Does it matter? I just kind of ripped it. Um, it's about an inch wide and I've cut them roughly two inches long. Now, I don't know if that's too long or too short, but I'm kind of going to attach them. In no particular order like that okay so I'm gonna doing it I'm doing it one this one in the middle two three okay so that's one two three now they get attached to there but the idea is that you put tabs on here that so you can attach the next one so I'm guessing I'm going to put one on there And obviously they need to be in between the tabs that you put on first. I don't know if it'll work with it having a booklet in it. I don't know if that's going to make it too, um, too bulky. I didn't really think about that. And I, so I think I've said to you before, that's my, my husband says, I never think. <laughs> you just don't think. <laughs> I know. My brain sometimes goes, thinks it knows what it's doing. OK, so the first piece we put three on. Sorry, I'm telling you, but I'm kind of saying it to myself. The first one has three. The second one has two. Gluing it down within an inch of its life. OK, so that then flips over. And I am going to be putting... the one two three tabs from the first from the first um tag just trying to make sure i've got enough glue on i don't want it coming off do i one Gonna, I'm going to glue it to the end. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to cut any of the tab off. I'm going to leave it like that. So that's one alternate tabs, Carol. And pull it tight. Two. And then the bottom one is the last one, isn't it? That makes it three. Sorry, am I in frame? Sorry, I'm that I'm concentrating that much on what I'm doing. <sighs> Take a deep breath. Does anybody else feel like that when they're starting something new, when they're doing something that they've not not tried before? I know I could cut these tabs off, but I'm going to leave them on. Another reason I'm leaving them on is um, I'm, this calico that I'm using, I tea dyed it and I got some really nice patterns on it. I don't know if you can see them. So I think they kind of add to the look of the, the little booklet. Right, so I have now attached, 
part one to part two and I've kind of left quite a big bit because this is actually quite a big thing to have in there okay breathe Carol breathe okay so this one is going to attach with these two but I need to put three on it because it's going to um, to attach to the next one so so I'm going to try and put them roughly roughly where my other tabs were so that's going to be one there roughly it doesn't matter if it's not it's just me being being um, difficult with myself I think wanting things to be nice and neat and tidy I keep telling myself it can't always be and messy can be just as pretty and then oh look at the colouring on that one can you see it it's not often I get something that I think you did good there girl okay three this glue that I'm using, it isn't the um, art glitter glue. I use a strong, fast tack. It works just as well as art glitter glue and it's half the price. Right. So now that gets flipped over. And, oh, well done. <laughs> oh no, it's the twos I'm doing. Ah, so I'm going to have to cut that. See, I didn't didn't think... It goes part over that. And I don't want the little boy's face to be covered, do I? I don't want the little boy's face covered. Okay, it's not going to be. And I'm going to glue it so it doesn't glue my pocket shut just there. So I'm going to put the glue. I could move it up slightly. Just a bit slightly doesn't need it really I'm going to put the glue on oh come on glue don't fail me now so these are the two tabs that I'm doing now from the book so try and keep it I'm going to try and keep it tight not too tight so that it pings back on itself I'm going to make sure that's glued in Two. You're doing the twos, Carol. And that's going to cover him as well. So I'm just going to snip a bit of that. Can any of you feel my pain? <laughs> a little bit. I'm going to just snip that straighter. There we go. Okay. Come on, girl. You can do this. Isn't it funny how we can encourage others to do things? I have so many self-doubts about me. I never think I can do something. And then it lets you down, doesn't it? That little voice in your head. It says, what are you doing that for? You think you can work it? Oh. That's right, isn't it? Two, three, two, one. Next one's going to have three. So this one, I need to put the two on. Okay. Come on, just do it, Carol. Just do it. That's right. And then I'm going to be sticking the three over it. There we go. Is this painful to watch, folks? I'm really sorry if it is. Really, really sorry if it is. <laughs> I feel it's painful. I've got all little bits of this stuck, stuckered to me. I'm doing twos, aren't I now? I have to say Susie at Shabby Soul made it look so easy. I know Tracy Fox did it, thinking on it. Tracy, I don't know if you watch my videos or not, but um, I know Tracy did it, and I think she got her knickers in a bit of a knot with it as well. It is really confusing when you're doing it. alternating so that's the two on there so on this I'm sticking the three so starting at the top I think if you get yourself in a rhythm 
be fine. Might go back and re-glue, you know, add a little bit more glue on the ends of these when I've finished. Too low there, Carol. Or snip the bits off, I'm not sure yet. Oh, that didn't glue, did it? Why didn't that want to glue? I think it's because it's sticking to my finger. And then the one at the bottom. Can you see what I'm doing? I hope you can. I'm hoping I'm going to be encouraging you all to give it a go. But I'm not so sure. Okay, do we want to look at what I've done? That was the three. That's the two. I think I've done it a bit too tight there. You need to leave a little bit of space because you're going to be putting things in. Yeah, don't stick that one quite so tight, Carol. I'm thinking actually there might be room when you've done to go back and stitch, but um, I'm not sure. Yeah, you need to leave yourself a little bit, otherwise it's not going to fold over, is it? So I've got two tabs there. So this is going to be a three tabber. Three tabs. Where's it going? Roughly at the top. How am I doing for time? 36 minutes. Come on, Carol, you can do this. Three tabs. Oh, I hope I've got enough tabs. One. Two, one, two, and three. Oops, stuck to my finger. One, two, three. Flip it over. Take those out. I might need to snip a little bit off these. It's the twos, isn't it? So I'm going to take a little bit off those. So I did them two inches, didn't I? So I think you could get away with less. But I, saying that, it depends what you're sticking them to the other side. See, I don't want to cover up Live Your Dream. Do I? See, that won't. And that's fine. So these are the twos. Get it glued on. Leave a little bit. And the second one. Yes, two. You're doing the twos. Maybe it would be good to put your, your tabs um, in piles in front of you so that you you can see that you're two, three, two, three. It's not that difficult, is it, Carol? Really? <laughs> yep, yeah, okay. Now there's something I had to remember for the last one. Ah, that was it. Good, well remembered, Carol. For the last one, you don't need to add any tabs because it is the last one. So I'm going to turn that over. And I'm just going to look at where these tabs are going because I don't want to cover, cover my gentleman up. And I don't think I am. So I'm going to leave them the length that they are. And I'm going to glue these really well because, again, it's that wall. Ah, there's a pocket there, Carol. So just, I'm going to cut that one a little bit shorter then. Yeah, that's better. I don't want it to interfere with the, um, with the pocket. On. We don't need so much though, do we really? Because 
bit off. So I guess uh, if I did it again, I probably wouldn't need more than an inch and a half in the length of these these strips. I think I did two inches. I think I'm finding that an inch and a half would quite possibly have been enough. But as I say, until you've done it, you just don't know, do you? I'm going to take a little bit off that one. A little bit more glue on there. I do hope you've been able to see what I'm doing on this. I feel really um, unsure of myself. I feel I'm pushing myself on this outside that comfort zone. Right, they're not going to be dry. I know that. I hope I've got nothing on back to front. So... Can you see the tabs that I've got? I have got them pretty much in line with each other, which wasn't intent. I'm glad they are, but um, I wasn't doing any measuring. So that's like that. And so we have got a tag that's going to go in there. I might need to trim that tag slightly because it's, a little bit tight going in there so that tag goes in there um i've got that lacy one lacy tag going in there and then i've got those two little bits going in there and then we've got this little ticket there and we've got a couple of tags I don't know if these are the right ones. I don't think they are. I think it was the bigger ones. Sorry, I'm keeping you ages today, aren't I, folks? That goes in there. We've got some book pages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So double that is about 28, 28 pages in there. That flips over there and we had another tag in there. We've got this. So I need to make a tag to go in there. And I've got that lady, the little girl that's going to fit out there. So I'm just going to put that there so I remember that's where that's going. Behind there. So I need a tag in that pocket as well, don't I? This one, we were going to put that if it will go behind the little boy. If it won't, I'm not going to die in a ditch. It does. It's a bit tight, but it does. That fits there. And then I've got a couple of tags. I'm going to make that into a card. That's one of Andrea's papers as well. And that's going in there. So I like that. I need a tag to go in here. And something to go in here so I can put something behind it and something in it so that's going to go in there where was I going to put those anyone remember because I don't oh it was going in here wasn't it that was going in there but I need a tag to go in there and a tag to go in there and one to go in there so they'll go in there and then in this one put that little boy there and we've got a, an envelope there that we can fill and then that flips over and we've got a pocket there that we can put something in so I think all in all I think I'm happy with the way that's turned out I don't know what I'm going to do with it um Don't know what I'm going to do with it at all. <laughs> but I'll get those pockets filled and see where it takes us. So if you've made it to the end of the video, oh gosh, do I appreciate it. Um, but there we go. There's my no sew binding, um, completely inspired by Wendy's Journal Adventures and Su uh, Susie from Shabby Soul. So thank you so much, folks. Take care.
，拜拜。